someone who hasn't focused much, who doesn't really want anything much different than they have. So here they are, and here they want to be. So their range of emotion would be very hard to tell the difference. In other words, they don't get too excited about anything. They don't get too worried about anything. And you'd usually find them to be a, a pretty healthy person because there's not a big range in their energy. In other words, you wouldn't find them enthusiastic. You wouldn't find them high on life. You wouldn't find them bouncing off the walls with enthusiasm. We don't think you'd even find them very interesting. But, in, <laughs> but, but, but then that's not any of your business or ours, is it? And so, but, but, but in terms of the way their physical body is managing, they're, they'd be doing all right because there would not be any strong contradiction of energy. But when you meet someone who really, really wants something, who's been talking about what they want and launching goals and thinking about it, and having comparative experiences. So they've really got the energy revved up and they're focused in the opposition of something they want. Now there's a big gap in their energy and, and the contradiction is very strong and that takes a toll on their physical body. So then they go to the acupuncturist or the chiropractor or someone who is m manipulating and moving energy and while they can get relief, the relief is usually temporary. It's what our friend was talking about earlier. Right. The spot just moves around. That's why when you go to the physician to find that early warning sign, mm -hmm. and then they <laughs> remove it through medicine or through surgery, but they haven't helped you to understand what contradiction in thought was causing it to begin with, it's going to move all around your body.